Missouri Attorney General Eric Schmidt is suing dozens of school districts across the state to stop them from enforcing mask mandates. The vast majority of those school districts are in the St. Louis area and Fox 2's Stephanie Rothman spoke with several parents and school officials and now joins us live tonight with all that's going on with the story from West County. Stephanie. That's right. Of the 36 school districts being sued, 20 of them reside in our region. This includes St. Louis Public Schools, Francis Howell, St. Charles, and here at Parkway. The reaction has been a mixed bag between opposition and in favor of the state stepping in. But one thing that everyone can agree on that I spoke with today is that you have to make sure that your parents and your students are safe, but also just how frustrating the back and forth has been. I feel as if it's totally crazy. It, the schools need to make the decision and no one else. I, I think he's wrong. I think he's doing it for political reasons. In the lawsuits, the attorney general and over 70 parents claim schools don't have the authority, reinforcing the state's stance on mandates, calling them unlawful and illegal. There's a mounting um, body of evidence that shows the psychological and social harms from the forced masking of kids. And so we're, uh, we're taking them to court and we're going to fight on behalf of parents and the ability for people, individuals and families to make these decisions themselves. Many of the schools dispute this, saying the power resides within the local school districts. It has been a local control issue. School boards, superintendents working together to figure out how best to keep their doors open or work with their communities. And now all of a sudden, 22 months into it, we have somebody saying, no, that's not your decision to make. And, and that's frustrating. Roughly every 10 minutes Friday, Schmidt's Twitter announces another school district being sued. Yet school representatives say they haven't actually received the lawsuit yet and thus have no comment. One school district that did react publicly is Francis Howell School District, who in a statement had this to say. Our community and especially our elected officials should be celebrating and supporting schools during this challenging time, not suing them. This latest action by A.G. Schmidt is disheartening, unfounded, and frankly, shameful. You're taking public funds to sue a public entity that will use public funds to respond to that lawsuit. Frankly, it's a waste, and, and we can do better. For now, schools talk to their lawyers, awaiting the lawsuits to come. And meanwhile, while they wait on these lawsuits, they will be sticking with their mask mandates as they stand right now in the school districts that do have them in place. Also, the schools, while they wait on it, they will be talking with their lawyers to figure out what their next steps are. Reporting at Parkway North High School, Stephanie Rothman, Fox 2 News.